Welcome back to Creature Cozy Dollhouse. I'm going to be modernizing, um, updating this old-fashioned wooden fireplace that I've had for several years. I'm going to um, update it. I'm going to be painting it white and then I'm going to show you how to electrify it. So what I have here is just some um, satin finish acrylic paint that I picked up at a craft store and I'm going to be applying that paint to the fireplace. Um, this little grate comes out. I believe this piece, this piece here comes out as well. I'm going to leave uh, this back section black um, and give this a good wipe down and then I'm going to be painting it with satin finish acrylic paint. I've got a wipe here. I'm just going to clean this really thoroughly so that the paint will stick. Give it a good wipe down. This is just uh, like a Lysol wipe kind of thing. You can see there's lots of dust, especially on the inside ceiling. Give it a good scrub. Give that a few seconds to dry. Make sure you get into all the little folds, all the little um, carved areas on this mantle. There's a little bit of space between these pillars and the background. It makes it a little tricky. All right, so that is good and clean now. We're going to leave this grate uh, black because I think the contrast will be nice. Um, that came with the fireplace and it was just removable. So I'm just going to give it a clean. This was the lining of the fireplace. I'm going to give it a good wipe as well. It doesn't need to be, whoops, doesn't need to be painted because it's already white. Background, that's just a piece of cardboard and we're just going to leave that we're going to set that aside and get painting you can see <laughs> I've got a little helper here um, <laughs> I'm going to uh, remove <laughs> Godzilla from uh, from the scene and we'll get back at it all right First coat doesn't have to be perfect. It's sort of um, second coat will stick better to the first coat once it has dried. I'm going to keep painting. You, um, come here. You might hear some noises in my recording. Uh, don't eat the fireplace, please. This is Cairo. Say hi, Cairo. Um, she's with me all the time. So you might actually... <laughs> you might um, hear her yeah just like that basically we're done the first coat of this satin finished acrylic paint on the fireplace the nice thing about using acrylic paint is that it, it dries very quick <laughs> it dries very quickly so um, I'm just gonna pause this uh, video let this dry and then we will come back uh, and apply the second coat. So the wood finish on this fireplace is actually looking like it's going to need three coats. Um, here we are here. There's lots of little details. You want to make sure that you turn uh, whatever you're painting around. Make sure you get all the nooks and crannies. I can see on this side some of the detail in here. I'm going to need to probably get a finer brush and just touch that up a bit but it's looking pretty good so far and we are going to aim now to tackle the third coat you can do a little sanding on surfaces that you really want to have a smooth finish on so that you hide the brush strokes just do a little bit of light sanding in my case between the second and third coat also, if you wanted to antique your piece, um, you know, if you did want to show some of the brown edges, you could always just sand a little bit and you can see there, 
that that brown <laughs> that brown edge is visible that's not the look I'm going for so I'm going to paint that over but I am sanding the top just a little bit so the finish is smoother okay so all the painting is done and I'm just going to piece back together the fireplace this little piece will sit in there there so um, there is the completed fireplace painted so the next step in working on our fireplace is electrifying it now I was able to find this little kit I actually got it um, at a dollhouse store um, and it comes in two different pieces oh I see so there's actually a little hole um, on this end I was wondering how it would go together um, I got it at the little dollhouse company in Toronto and they ship worldwide so um, that's where I purchased this I think it was about ten dollars um, Canadian funds I'm gonna test out the light and see what it's gonna look like again I'm just gonna stick the raw wires into my little outlet there's the light there um, so if I can stick that in here I see okay and then let's see what it'll look like in the logs there now there's a lot of light here so you probably can't see let me see if I can shut some of this off shut some of these lights off and you can have a better look all right there um, that's what the flame will look like so I'd like to get that inside the fireplace that I think will be very cool okay so you're going to need a place to run the wires so you've got your little fireplace I believe I'm just going to come through the back drill a little hole all right drill a little hole so that it comes through the front I'm going to remove this little bracket just to make things a little bit easier for me I'm going to take the drill bit and just sort of make the hole in that cardboard a little bit bigger now what you're going to want to do is twist the ends of these wires together. Whenever you're passing wires through little openings, you know, twist them together to make it much easier on yourself. You can just pull them apart later. And I'm going to stick that right through the hole that I've made in the front. Let's see if I can see them on the other side. No. That's the tricky bit when you've got a couple of layers to get through. So I'm going to try to pass the wires through this opening through the wood. Twist the wires together so that they pass a little bit easier. You don't want to put um, too large a hole in the fireplace. You don't want to see it when it's lit up. There we go. So there's the wire coming through the back of the fireplace there. Now what you're going to want to do, I'm going to want to secure that. I'm going to want to place that inside the log. Well, maybe I don't even have to secure it. I can place it inside the log, hold the log down with my finger, pull the wires through the back. So that they're somewhat tight now i'm actually not going to secure that with glue or anything else because um, there may come a time when that light bulb uh, will burn out and you need to replace it and if you glue it down 
if you glue it down, it makes it much more difficult for you to do that. So, all right, so I've secured that. Again, I'm gonna shut these lights off a little bit. Let's see how this is gonna look. All right, I'm gonna pull the wires apart. No problem doing that. Let's stick the wires into the... Now this is a great way to test any light that you have if you don't have a plug on it. Um, you can just stick the raw wires, doesn't matter which one, which side by side. And there is your fireplace all lit up. So I think that, that, um, that's just going to add uh, so much to the dollhouse, I think, um, having that, having that lit up. So when the lights are on in the dollhouse, this fireplace will be on. And I think that'll just be absolutely wonderful. Now the wires that are coming through the back of the dollhouse, I'm going to hide. Um, the way I'm going to show everybody here uh, to hide wiring is actually underneath the floor. That's probably the best way. Um, you can have light fixtures that are hanging from the ceiling, like pendant lights, and all the wiring can be um, can be hidden underneath the floor of the story above. Or, the, or in this case, this will be on the main floor of the house and the wires are just going to run underneath the floorboards. So for now, that is how you electrify, refinish and electrify a fireplace. Thanks for supporting Creature Cozy Dollhouse.